You cannot have harmony without differences. So when we talk about um, unity and oneness and all of that, unity is not unison. That's right. And harmony requires <laughs> difference. That's so right. you have to have different notes, different keys, in order to get that harmony. It's nature. So it's nature, it's a law. It's a life. It's the different factor. Yeah. <laughs> so I can find the different factor everywhere. Yeah. You find it in nature, you find it in music, yeah. you find it in acting. Yeah. You know, so even in, in the beauty industry, mm -hmm. beautiful is in the eye of the beholder. True. So likewise with marriage, you know, your your difference is your beauty. Yeah. I think that's probably one of the areas where a lot of the dating sites, um, they focus on the fact of trying to find compatibility for people. And, and the percentage of success in dating sites are not always as high as they claim to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because people get frustrated when they're no longer able to somehow be able to agree based on their compatibility. And then you have to ask, you know, honestly, compatible with what? Mm -hmm. With your idea, with your desire, with your wants, compatible with what? And even if you get someone that's compatible with your ideas and your thoughts and your wishes and your dream, and you end up with your dream spouse, you still have to deal with the difference Differences. factor. Yeah. yeah, you're the still gonna. The difference factor is not going nowhere. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And people would enjoy their relationships if they were not afraid of the differences.